The members of the fruit group <clears throat> pumped their fist in unison at that last delicacy. Yeah, I'd fucking say so. <laughs> now it makes a bit more sense. It's a five million yen melon. <laughs> Who's the rich person that brought that? Yes, you can what? eat coconut. Of course you can eat a coconut. Well, can they open it, though? I mean, All right, Chie. fruit and vegetables are good, too, but yes. All right, male Chie, come down. <laughs> steak! Steak, steak! <laughs> yeah. Sojiro couldn't keep track of all the voices flying across the room. He got confused easily when more than one person was talking. How do you know that? But, okay, <clears throat> listen. Oh, he doesn't good, want to be in their debt, maybe? Nothing good will come from the canned food, but that Yubari melon, though? Like, <laughs> get on that shit, my dude. That might be worth joining the track and field team. That being said, he found it difficult to refuse them outright. His tendency to accept others' goodwill at face value occasionally left him frozen with indecision. Not accustomed to regular human interaction, he was unable to judge when it was or was not appropriate to turn someone down. Someone tapped the lost little lamb on the shoulder. Oh, that guy. That said, you want to come have lunch with me? <laughs> he came very close to rolling the R on that Ora. <laughs> it almost turned into a JoJo. Ora! <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> <clears throat> An inappropriately loud voice echoed throughout the classroom from behind him. Oh, yeah, the, right. He's yeah, the other, the third guy. Well, yes, but apparently he's also the vice president. I thought they mentioned that in the interlude. Yeah, I kind of forgot. Ah. Sojiro turned around to see a boy about a head taller than him. I don't think he's that much taller than you. I, I'd say like half a head. Maybe it's hard to tell with his posture. His long hair, while unkempt, had been brushed back, giving it an appealingly wide or windswept, windswept. look. Eh. He, he was going for Aizen, <laughs> for some reason. His attractive features belied the contempt for the classroom his eyes carried. Unlike the perpetually dopey-looking Sojiro, <laughs> he was an extremely attractive boy, capable of captivating anyone who so much as glanced at him. And I don't trust him. At all. In most cases, such a boy's presence would be met with awe and respect. However... However Yes, I came to collect Chizuki first. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, I think Class A is Aoko's class. I mean, it, it, is this like Baka test where Class A gets all the hot girls and all the, like, smart people? Maybe. I don't know. Although, I guess... He's only Class C, I guess though. Class F did have, you know, Mizuki, so... Yeah. But she was only there by accident and then choice. Right, she was, yeah. <laughs> she was supposed to be there. She was not supposed to. She should have been in A with the rest of the hot girls and smart people. <laughs> well... I don't think they separate the classes like that. First Lady Aoko. Wait, she's the president, though. I think... I, I think that's <clears throat> First Lady Aoko, oh. not First Lady Aoko. Ah, sorry. Yeah, it was the way it was combined like that. Yeah. It, it, it. Eh? Shizuki-kun I, you say that, but he did have an illegal job. I will go clear that up for him. That doesn't change the fact that he did have an illegal job and it <laughs> broke the rules of the school. Just well. because Aoko fixed it. Uh, that's an assumption right there. <laughs> huh. Well, he's not denying it. Hang on. 
they continued to give him a hard time. Sojiro couldn't help but feel sorry for him. The class vice president, on the other hand, showed absolutely no reaction whatsoever. He's used to their stupidity. He glared at them with a bored look and simply raised his voice. Oh man, <laughs> dropping the teme on them. Yeah. <laughs> I'll sign you up to clean the school, damn it. Oh. Yeah, crotch shot. Um. <laughs> The menacing growl in his voice <coughs> contrasted greatly with the boy's well-constructed looks. So, looks pretty, sounds rough and court <laughs> like rude as hell. Both Team Canned and Team Fruit's words were doused like a fire being smothered. This was partly due to their fear of the boy, but mostly due to their fear of the special winter cleaning team. Yeah. Yes, the special winter cleaning team. We know it sounds stupid. Shut up. Well, my understanding is that there's, like, we do spring cleaning, they do, like, a December end-of-year cleaning to prepare for the new year. So they're probably gonna have to clean the whole school. Joining meant spending part of your winter break cleaning up the old school building and uh. mountainous rear courtyard that had been neglected by the previous two student councils. Oh, God, they're cleaning the grounds, too. You... But, like, nobody goes to the old school. We've talked about this. The old school building is, like, up a fucking hill and nobody goes there because it's haunted as shit or whatever. <laughs> like, why bother? Well, you don't want it to fall apart, you know? Gotta do some maintenance. It was a form of legalized torture <laughs> that could potentially ruin three whole days of your winter break. And forget about any compensation in the form of extra credits. No, it was pointless volunteer work for a student council project. It was practically a miracle that they'd found even a single volunteer. Was Shizuki the volunteer? Uh, yeah. We're not fit enough, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no, we're, um... <coughs> anemic, yeah, that's it. Uh, I need to eat this fruit. We, we have or I'll to die. eat this fruit, or our anemia will kill us. Also, we're busy, probably. Yeah. Anyway, I gotta eat my anemia curing fruit. <laughs> I don't think that's how anemia works, but okay. That is a lame excuse. All of the students but one <coughs> scuffled away. <laughs> Oh, thank God. Freedom. The mob meekly scurried away. I thought they left already. Oh, uh, no, they scurried, like, to their seats in the room. Sojiro turned to join them, but as he did... Um... <laughs> Didn't you just tell me that if I kept doing everything everyone told me all the time, something, something, a bad time? This isn't an invite, this is a conscription. The hand on his shoulder held him in place. <laughs> Kinomi cursed him under his breath to his friends the second... The cursed to his, to his friends the second... Uh, cursed under his... Uh, gotcha, 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 yeah. gotcha. Kenobi cursed under his breath to his friends the second the vice president turned to go. Huh? Well, congratulations, Kenobi. You've been voluntold. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for signing up, bro. The vice president must have heard everything Kinomi said because he gave a thumbs up before figuratively jabbing it in his eye. Huh? And? The problem child of Class C laughed merrily. Oh. 
会長の提案が学校側に受理されてな本日付で<laughs> Aoko just demanded the right to sign people up. <laughs> you see, Aoko didn't feel like doing all the work herself, so she went to the chairman and was like, Hey, nobody's signing up to clean up the old school building. Can we force? <laughs> and he's like, Well, you are the student council president. <laughs> well, I mean, I can't stop you. You are student council president and have supreme power. So <laughs>、right. do whatever you want. <laughs> Yay! Aoko can just treat the student body like her army of slaves, basically. <clears throat> so, anyway, you better show up, or A, you're breaking rules and will be punished accordingly, and B, you'll have pissed off Aoko, which is worse, so don't do that. <laughs> k i n o m i s terrified shrieking continued behind them as the vice president and Sojiro left the classroom. Poor k i n o m i Should have kept his mouth shut. Probably. Oh, my, I'm not a fan of that, Sojiro. I'm not a fan of that, Sojiro. I'm not a fan of that, Sojiro. Oh, that's a neat little room. It's the student council room. Yeah, kind of small, but looks good. Oh, coffee machine. I think. Possibly. And a phone. And oh, a... yep.、Yeah. Actually, I'm not sure if that's a printer or a stack of books. It could be either. Oh,、uh, yeah. The two entered the empty student council room. Misaki High's <clears throat> student council had the use of two rooms. One was a large office spe spe specifically made for the student council. The second was an archive room, once used as a preparatory office for math courses. As the latter of the two, the walls were lined with densely packed shelves, making an already cramped room seem even more confined. For this reason, it served more as a private refuge to the student council. The two students sat across from one another Tobimaru Tsukiji. He was the son of the chairman of Misaki High School and the vice president of the student council. And let me tell you, he was none too happy that the son of the chairman had somehow become vice president. <laughs> That's why he tried to date Aoko, then got even more mad when she shot him down. <laughs> like Sojiro, he was in his second year and first <clears throat> met the transfer student a week earlier when the task of looking after him was dumped onto the student council. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> as self deprecating as his words were, he hardly seemed dissatisfied with the arrangement. Well, he is working with Alco, I mean, <laughs> could you, be worse. Do you have, like, a stick? Do you have step on me energy towards Alco? Is that what I'm sensing here?、Hmm. He took a <clears throat> snack from his pocket and grimaced at it before taking a bite. The 100 calorie energy bar sacrificed flavor for efficacy, but somehow not enough to prevent him gnawing on it like a piece of jerky. Ooh, yeah, it seems kind of hard and chewy, like. So、yeah. yeah, no, not really a good thing.、Oh. <laughs> Sojuro sat in the chair with a concerned look on his face. Huh? <laughs> Well, yeah, mountain dogs. Have you seen mountain dogs? That should be terrifying. Do you want to run into a pack of wild coyotes? Oh no, I'm terrified of all animals. <laughs> I see a bird and I'm like, oh god! <laughs> Spooky. Yeah. Sojuro. Sojuro, buddy. Those are not dogs. Those are wolves. <laughs> well, <laughs> there's difference. A chihuahua is not nearly as terrifying as a wolf. Sojiro opened his lunch as he spoke. 
Inside the bright green cloth, three beautifully made triangular rice balls. Ah, onigiri. Jelly-filled donuts. Yes. Shokura. Holy shit, you have real food. Special looking. I do love that we have historically translated onigiri as rice balls when they are clearly not a ball. I know. <laughs> like, I guess rice triangles doesn't quite have the same ring to it. And they're not pyramids, so you can't call them ice like rice pyramids. But it but also like, doesn't convey that they're filled is, and not just a ball of rice. Right. So and also, you know, it does not convey the that they're not round. Yeah, I know. They're not. You could just call it onigiri. It's a specialty dish. Right. Like at this point, I think most people, I think most people who would be in this medium know what an onigiri is. And if they don't, they, they have Google, Google in their pocket and can just yeah. look it up. Imagine if you had to translate fettuccine Alfredo into English. Uh, <laughs> thick noodles and cheese sauce. Mac and cheese. Yeah, it's, it's just mac and cheese, guys. <laughs> That's all. Yeah, it's, 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 it's mac and cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. That's kind of what we're doing here. So, what's the name? Still better than jelly-filled donut I ice. know. <laughs> yeah, could be worse. Sojiro was always confounded by phrasing that could be interpreted in multiple ways. Euphemisms and subtle sarcasm were also were often lost on him. Mm. It was only on rare occasions, like this one, and when he met Aoko, that he chose to confirm what was being said. <laughs> it's only on rare understanding. <laughs> Occasions when he understood sarcasm. Like, when it was coming from Aoko for some reason. Well, when he suspected sarcasm, I guess. Tobimaru had come to suspect that Sojiro had a very black and white way of seeing things. Uh... nope. Sojiro stared at the energy bar with a curious look on his face. I'll trade you a rice ball for half of it. <laughs> The part you <gasps> bit? Indirect kiss? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That sounds like a dangerous attitude to have there, buddy. <laughs> Hang on, let's see if he's 